I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can motion track 3D lyrics to your music videos in After Effects. If you guys wanna go download this, the project file will be linked in the description below. You guys can get it for absolutely free. All right guys, so we have this clip pulled up here from the Lil Yachty Poland video. To get started, what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click on it and then we're gonna go up to track and stabilize and track the camera. As you guys can see up here, the camera will start tracking and boom, the track is done just like that. We have all of our track points here. Now we're gonna to wanna to create a camera clicking this button here. And then you're gonna to wanna to right click, hit new, hit no object. We're gonna drag the no object above the camera. We're gonna click on the camera and go to this whip thing right here and drag that on the null. We're gonna click on the null, hit S on our keyboard for the scale, make it 0.1, and then we're gonna turn this into a 3D object. All right, guys, now once all that camera track stuff is done, we're gonna play the song and see what the lyrics say here. So it says like I'm Keenan. So we're gonna right click, hit new, go to text, and we're gonna write like. And then we're gonna duplicate this two more times because he says three words like I'm Keenan. I just find this is the easiest way to do it. We're gonna turn off everything except the second one. Go up to our text tool, click on it, control A, and then write I'm, turn that one off, go to the next one, control A, Keenan. And there we go, just like that, we have all of our text for the lyrics. We're gonna turn all those off there. Then we're gonna right click, hit new, go to solid. We're gonna call this like for the first one. Then we're gonna go up to effects and presets and drag on element 3D on this. You guys are gonna need element 3D to achieve the 3D effects here. First step, once we're in element 3D, we're gonna go to custom layers. We're gonna drop down custom text and custom texture maps. Under path layer one and custom text, we're gonna click on none and we're gonna change that to the first like. And then under texture maps, we're gonna go to layer one and change that to the video. All right, now once you guys have that set, pretty much what this is doing is it's letting the program know that you want the text to be like and the texture for the text, we can have it as the video texture. So we're gonna go up to scene setup here. Once you're in scene setup, you're gonna see nothing here. Don't worry, we're gonna hit extrude and boom, our text will be in there just like that. We're gonna zoom in and then go over to bevel scale here and we're gonna increase that. Make sure it's not overlaid on the text like that or a certain effect we're gonna do isn't gonna work. So just make sure you get it to the point where it kind of looks like it's touching, but they're not touching. Then we're gonna go over to presets, hit physical, and we're gonna drag and drop our Chrome preset on there. I really like the way this one looks. And then we're gonna drop down here, click on our Chrome texture, scroll down, go to environment, hit the arrow right here and make our environment our custom layer one here that we selected, which is the video. We're gonna hit okay. And don't be afraid if you guys can't see your text. If we turn the 3D camera off, we're gonna see it. But since the 3D camera is on, we just have to find our text now. Going over to our front view, we can see this is the camera right here and the text is underneath. We're gonna open up group one, open up particle look and particle replicator, and let's make our particle size smaller so it fits inside of the box. But then we're gonna go over to our top view and using our position Z, we're gonna put it in the middle of our box right there. And then we're gonna hit active camera. And if nothing is there yet, holding control, you can play with the position Z a little bit more until you get it in there. So I see it right there. Now, as you guys can see, it's disappearing into the background. If you guys have that problem, go down to render settings. Then we're gonna open camera cutoff and see the camera far plane. We're gonna set that to as high as it can go, which is 200,000 right there. Then we can go back up and keep on sending it into the Z space and we're not gonna have any issues here. Let's play that through. And there we go, that is motion tracked to the scene. Now what we're gonna do next is using the position X and Y, we can position this where we want. So let's put this right here. And then we're gonna open a rotation just so we can move it around a little bit more. So I like the way that looks, the side a bit, and boom, that's pretty cool there. All right guys, now we're gonna open up multi object here and enable that. Basically the effect we're gonna be playing with in here is rotation random. We're just gonna randomize the rotation of each different letter. So going to the very beginning of our like right here, we're gonna set a keyframe and let's set it to something like that. And let's set it to something around 35 ish 40 ish then we're gonna go to the very end and bring it down to something just like that and don't be worried we're just gonna turn that on now but we're gonna play around with it a little bit more in the end now scrolling all the way back down to render settings we're gonna open up an ambient inclusion here and enable it and turn it to ray trace to get those shadows so that's before after you guys can turn up the gamma here to make it darker i'm gonna do that just like that and then going into physical environment and rotate environment you guys can go ahead and add a little bit of motion to it so i'm gonna go to the very end there and just rotating the environment just like that now let's play that Gives it a cool flicker effect. And if you guys want, you can go with the Y one too. Now we're gonna go in and drag and drop R, S, and B on there. This is gonna give you guys that motion blur. And I also like the way Uniglo looks. Drag and drop that on there too. And you guys can play around with your glows and all that stuff. But for now guys, we're gonna turn these two off and get back to them later. We want the text to pop out from the background like it's growing from nothing. We're gonna go over to our particle size right here, keyframe it at the very beginning and bring it to zero. Then we're gonna go up a few frames and bring it back to what it was. It was at 0.64, hit okay, and we can see it growing. And then scrolling back up here, if we hit U on our keyboard, we can see our points. So we can drag that there. And you're really just gonna customize how fast it comes in. So we're gonna copy this still keyframe, drag it a few, paste it there. And then we're gonna copy the keyframe where it goes to zero and put it there. And then I think the I'm comes in about there. So we're gonna drag that 
All right, cool. Now to get the best results from this, guys, I highly recommend just messing around. All these previous keyframes that we have here, you can drag them to the front and you can really get that crazy movement right away. We're gonna drop this one down and we're gonna duplicate it pressing Control D and we're gonna rename this one I'm. All right, now going into this one, we're gonna change the custom text in masks from like to I'm here, the text layer of it. And then if we go ahead, you can see I'm, boom, right there hitting you on our keyboard. I'm gonna delete this particle size for now and boom, it's in there. But as you guys can see, they're popping out at the same time. So dragging this one further in the timeline, you're gonna have an effect like this and dragging these out further is gonna make it last longer. So this is pretty much just playing around with it until you get the look you want. And then we're gonna duplicate this one more time, rename it, call it Keenan, click on it. Just like last time, we're gonna go over and change it to the Keenan text. And then boom, as you guys can see, it says Keenan. And then we're gonna hit you on our keyboard and move this one over to about there. As you guys can see, this one is a lot bigger than the rest. So to fix this the first point where the text comes in we're going to hold control and make it a lot smaller control c and paste that one there so it's the same so you get an effect like this and as you can see it kind of overlaid on the eye there a little bit if you guys want that effect totally go for it i think it's kind of cool sometimes it's up to you guys and let's make this one last all the way so as you guys can see, it has a slow bringing up. To fix this, we're gonna drag this keyframe right here to have it pop up pretty quick. And clicking on the I'm, pressing Control U, we're just gonna play around with it until we get the look we like. So let's play this. That's a pretty cool look there, guys. And now going back into each one individually, let's start with Keenan. Close element. We're gonna turn back on UniGlow and RSMB. Same thing with this one. Turn on UniGlow and RSMB. Going back, UniGlow, RSMB. And if you guys want as well, I'm not gonna do it for the sake of this tutorial being quick. You can go into each one, open up element, and then change the rotation to get different angles. So as you can see, you can change the angle of the eye and all that stuff. And let's play this up for you guys. If you guys want to go download this, the project file will be linked in the description below. You guys can get it for absolutely free. If you guys enjoyed this video, I recommend checking out our crazy Yeet 3D text video right here. And we also have a different video I think you guys will enjoy, Cole Bennett's best music video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.